Having an itchy dog is incredibly frustrating. Today I'm giving you the main dog skin allergy home remedies and solutions that you can do without needing to take your pet to the vet. Hi, I'm Dr. Alex from OurPetsHealth.com where my aim is to help you and your dog live a healthier, happier life. And by home remedies, I mean things that you can get without a veterinary prescription. I don't mean things that are in your kitchen cupboard where you make a load of potions. These things actually work. And the very first thing to do is to optimize skin and coat quality. And there are two excellent strategies that you can do at home. The first is to shampoo your dog regularly. Now, if they're not particularly itchy, if things seem to be pretty well controlled, then you can use a normal oatmeal shampoo. It's very gentle. It doesn't strip the oils from the coat or the skin to dry them out, which actually can make things more itchy. And you should shampoo them every two weeks or so. If you do it any more, it can cause problems and any less, it's not doing the job that you want it to do. Now, the second thing that you can do is add essential fatty acids to your dog's diet. Now, if we think of our omega-3 fatty acids, they're the main anti-inflammatory fatty acids that can have a huge impact on the condition of your skin and actually reduce any inflammation as well. By omega-3 fatty acids, we really mean fish oil. So cod liver oil is the main one. It could be krill oil. It could be green lip mussel, something like that. You really want to avoid flaxseed oil because although it's much cheaper, dogs can't actually break down the omega-3 fatty acids in flaxseed oil into the usable DHA and EPA fatty acids that actually have the effect in dogs. Now tied to this at two is to optimize your pet's diet for skin health. Now there's a number of skin diets out there which have added essential fatty acids, but they also have other components like anti-inflammatories, like vitamin E, they have added zinc and other elements that will help to reduce inflammation and optimize skin quality. Another thing to consider is that some dogs, although it is a minority, despite what you might have heard, they do have a food allergy. So you need to think about maybe trying to find a novel protein source and carbohydrate source. So these are things that your dog has not come across. Now, most skin allergies, if they're due to diet, are due to the protein component. So it's normally the chicken, the pork, or the fish. In some cases, it can be to the carbohydrate, in which case it is a specific grain, but really they are the minority. So if you think your dog might be itching all the time because of a dietary allergy, then you need to think about feeding a specific diet for a period of about eight to 12 weeks even. Now it can be quite difficult to find a protein and a carbohydrate that your dog has never eaten before. And in those cases, there are specific hydrolyzed diets, which are excellent when it comes to running a diet trial. Now the next dog skin allergy home remedy is to avoid and reduce flare factors. So if you know that there's something that really causes your dog's skin to flare up and become more itchy, avoid it. That could be running through long grass, for instance. You also want to keep any parasites under control. And this is normally fleas. So make sure you have a routine, regular flea prevention strategy in place. And that could be, for example, using a product like Fipronil, which is effective in a lot of cases, although there are resistance problems in some parts of the world, and it doesn't require a visit to your vet to get that medication. Storage mites are the next problem that you should think about trying to control. Now, storage mites, they are, live in pet food, especially kibble that has been stored for a period of longer than 30 days. So make sure that you're using up a bag of food within 30 days. Don't buy a huge bag if you've got a really small breed dog. You can also store it in an airtight container in a cool, dark area to reduce the impact of storage mites. You should also consider having hard floors. If you've got old carpets down, uh, you can vacuum regularly to reduce house dust mites, which are another big cause of allergies in dogs. And then finally, if you think your dog is starting to get a little bit of a skin infection, a bit of a hot spot, then treating that really promptly is important. And if you get on top of it really quickly, you can use a chlorhexidine based shampoo or skin cream. You can clip and dry that area, which can really just just mean that you don't need antibiotics and you're really nipping it in the bud. And then to reduce any more inflammation that's happening, you might consider antihistamines. After all, it's something that we use if we have hay fever and skin allergies in dogs is very much like hay fever. Unfortunately, antihistamines don't work as well in dogs as they do in people. Maybe about 20% of dogs will respond quite well. Some though will become quite drowsy. 
others it really makes no difference. You can certainly talk to your vet about this over the phone but it's something that once you know that that's okay for your dog you don't need a prescription to get because you can use a human antihistamine tablet. Now ultimately many dogs with skin allergies will still need pharmaceutical medication in the form of steroids, Cytopoint or Apoquel but if you use these home remedies and management strategies you can really reduce their reliance on these drugs you can reduce the dose that they, that they might need and you can reduce the frequency at which you need to give them and if you don't know why your dog is itching all the time in the first place make sure you click on the video on screen now which talks you through the causes of itchiness in dogs and until next time i'm dr alex this is our pets health because they're family